Versatile video coding, aka VVC H.266 or MPEG I Part 3, is a new video codec that was finalized in 2020. VVC has an encoding complexity of up to 10 times that of HEVC and a decoding complexity two times that of HEVC. I've had a lot of time to play around with VVC and it is unbelievably efficient. Standard definition video can be encoded to be as low as just a few dozen kilobits per second and decent 4K video can be as low as just 4 megabits per second. This complexity blows away the capabilities of HEVC and AV1. I'm a big advocate of VVC and more efficient coding in general. If you like this as well, consider subscribing. You'll see a lot more of that here. Previously, the only easy way to playback VVC video was with a Mac and an app called L Media Player, and I made a video about that. I'll link it up in the card above. But recently, a new video player has come out with support for Windows. It is extremely simple to get this on your Windows machine. First, launch the Windows Store. Next, type in npc-be into the search and click enter. Then, click Media Player Classic Black Edition. Then, simply click download. You now have a video player that can play back VVC H.266 videos on your Windows PC. In order to play back videos, simply drag and drop your VVC file into the app. This player handled 8-bit videos perfectly fine, but struggled with 10-bit videos, unlike El Media Video Player on Mac. I am using Parallels Desktop Windows 11, so a decrease in compute resources may be the issue. Encoding video into VVC at the time of recording requires building your own app. Depending on how this video does, I'll make a video in the future detailing how to build the Fraunhofer versatile video encoder and how to encode video into VVC using command line prompts. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see that. Lastly, these videos are passion projects for me. They don't tend to do very well as you can see here, so if you want to help support the channel, I'll leave the links to my Patreon and channel membership below. It will really help support the channel and keep me motivated to keep posting videos like these. If you can't support, consider sharing it with like-minded people that'll help grow the channel as well. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.